Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Uh, we've been starting to put up the crayfish videos and several people have asked in the comments uh, what it is that we do after we catch them. Um, we have not done a true southern crayfish boil. What I've been doing is doing what I call a half boil and then cleaning them, deveining them, getting them cleaned up and putting them in the freezer. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to show you exactly how we do it. All right, so the first thing we do when we get back is I, I take and put an ice pack in there. I threw a couple of ice cubes in there also just to keep them cool. Um, I don't understand it, but they say if you store them in water, they will die. And I haven't really looked up you know, if these things breathe above water or underwater or both or whatever. But keep them cool. I put the cap on and let them sit until it's time that I want to do the boil. So now it's been a few hours, and I'll show you how I, I purge them. Okay, so when I purge them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a whole bunch of salt on them right now. And then I'm going to put water in there and, and I'm going to stir that up for just about three minutes or so and I'm going to rinse it. Then I'm going to run fresh water in there a little bit, stir it up a little bit, and rinse it again. And this is supposed to clean them out, um, whatever it takes, so they're a lot cleaner. And they do not much care for this. Now you can see how immediately that the water gets so dirty and I just mix them up a little bit here let them sit for a minute or so usually dump a little more salt in there All right, I'm just going to do this, just mix them a little bit, let them sit, mix them a little bit, and I'll wait three, four minutes or so, and then I'll come back and I'll rinse them off. Okay, it's been a few minutes. All I do is take the cap, just going to dump out the salt water. Put some more fresh water in there. Alright, now I'm just going to rinse some pull this crap out again. Meanwhile, while I was doing that, I have some water boiling and it's time to get these babies in the boiling water. Okay, so the neighbors across the street uh, they're having, I don't know, it must be a graduation party today because there's cars all over. Zach was just out here washing his car in the front yard. But you've got to see this bar that they have. I've never seen anything like it. I want one. This is a bar that drives down the road. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, I just might have to go over and see what's going on over there. <laughs> okay everyone, well we got our water to a rolling boil and now we are just going to dump these happy campers in there.
Now as soon as this comes back to a, a rolling boil, um, we're going to start the timer and we're going to boil these for five minutes. If you're going to do a true boil with the corn the potatoes in there, you do it from seven to ten. I do it for five minutes because I'm going to pull these out and then I'm going to break off the tails, um, take the shells off, devein them, clean them, wash them, and then we're going to put them in the freezer. Okay, so we're just coming up to a rolling boil, so we're going to take and start the stopwatch. We're going to run this for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, and now we're going to take these off, and we're going to rinse them off. Okay, Zach, yep. Okay, you can see they turn that nice red color once they're cooked like that. Almost like a crab. Yep, and the reason we only do it for five minutes is because since we're going to peel these and freeze them, then later on when we reboil them or put them into another recipe, they'll have to cook again and they won't get real tough or anything like that. So we just get a nice and cool so we can handle them and then we'll start to peel them. Okay, so. If they have a straight tail, that means they were dead before you boiled them, you want to throw it out. This one does not. So I just simply take it, twist it, and pull. That goes into the junk pile. I usually get these leg parts, so I get rid of them. I separate the shell. You can squeeze on the tail and pull it out, and we end up with this. <clears throat> Let me get a zoom in on that. Now I'm going to take it, and right here is that vein that goes through there. When they eat these down south, they eat the vein too, but since I'm cleaning them, I don't. I just pull it all off. There is one piece of meat right there. That goes into the good part. And some of the bigger ones, you can take this right here and still pull the vein out, and then I wash this part here, and you almost end up with a little back strap, and it really adds to the meat. Now when I get to these bigger ones like this, we do the same thing. Pull it. but you get these big claws, so, and it's amazing that there is meat in those claws. So I snap that off, and then I take this little one and I pull it, and it always comes out a little bit like that, and then you try your hardest to break the shell off of it. And you can't always get it, <laughs> but sometimes you get a nice piece of meat. This one I'm not getting much out of. So we'll try the next one. It's hit or miss, but when you do, it's really nice. This one too I did not get anything out of. So, but we'll try some more of them. Let's try this claw right here. And as you can see, you almost get half of the size of the meat here in a claw. <laughs> so anyway, that's how we do them. Just do it over and over. This isn't bad. We only have 43 of them to do. Um, it gets to be a little teasy, tedious when I get up to 100. Look at that nice piece of claw meat right there. Oh yeah, it's a good nice. one. Alright everyone, well we got them all peeled and deveined and now I'm going to take these inside and I'll wash them up real good. And then I will just take and I put them in like this here. This is already clean stuff and throw it in the freezer. This is my second one that we've had and what do we have? 363 
crayfish before yep. these 43. So the count's going up and then I'm saving it. And I have a friend that's in the Sorrento area of Louisiana who is actually going to send up um, a packet of boil seasoning. So we can actually do a crayfish boil, throwing them in live with the corn and the potatoes and all that, but also another boil that you can just sprinkle on there. So then later on we'll reboil or do whatever we want to do with these and then just put the seasoning on there. So, and we're new to this, but it's fun and uh, we're learning. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.